Hey Virgo, welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. Thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I really appreciate it. This is going to be your weekly reading. It's only a five-day reading. It's from November 5th to the 9th, 2019. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good, please bring through the messages for Virgo. For anyone with Virgo placements, please send through the most important messages for the people that need them the most that are guided to see this reading on YouTube for November 5th to the 9th, 2019. What do they need to know the most here? For anyone with Virgo placements, Virgo, what's important here? Virgo, nope, way too many. important here for Virgo. Okay. One more for Virgo, please. What's most important here? Virgo. What's important for Virgo to know? Okay. All right, guys. Okay. Well, I just want to go back a little bit and see what we have going on in the past for you guys. Yeah, I feel as though you have the magician back here, which can be Virgo or Gemini. And we have the death card reversed. So there's been something you're clinging on to, I feel. With the Seven of Wands in reverse, I think you guys always get that uh, clingy energy in your readings, whether it, it could be a Scorpio, someone trying to cling on to you. It could be another Virgo or a Gemini. I feel like you're letting go of this, whatever it was. Seven of Wands reverse feels to me like letting go of this. Three of Swords, there's been heartache in the situation. Five of Cups, you felt really depressed about it, grieving. You're in the reverse if you're a Virgo man. If you're a Virgo lady, you could be dealing with the King of Pentacles in reverse. He can be Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, or anyone who's coming out in the reverse King energy. Uh, we also have here the Hangman. Yeah, you've really been taking the time to look at things from another perspective. You're really seeing, you're gaining light. See the light around the head? You're, you're gaining some spiritual enlightenment here. You're starting to see things differently. Nine of Cups, hopes, wishes, and dreams. You, I feel like you're going to go after your hopes, wishes, and dreams here because something's made you really unhappy. With the unknown card, I feel like there were things you didn't know, but since you've gone within with the hangman, you're really seeing things differently, and you're starting to see things you didn't see before. Uh, we're coming into the reading with the King of Cups. Virgo men, this can be you coming through as the King of Cups in a love situation, possibly. Um, you could have Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces in your chart. If you're a Virgo woman, you could be dealing with this man. Um, you're definitely coming out of this lack mentality and this, where is it? This, it's kind of like what you were having before, this grieving, this loss, this feeling of sadness. You're coming out of it. It's a little bit different. That one was the Five of Cups. This one's the Five of Pentacles in reverse. Whatever it is, you are coming out of it. You're no longer going to sit in this energy of lack. Nice. Okay, so you're starting to see, really this is about your perspective of things, I feel. Um, now, when we come here, we've got the Hierophant. This could have been about a relationship. It could be about some kind of union, some kind of bonding between two people or more. It could be business. It could be 
you know, finances, it could be love, it could be anything. The Hierophant, there's so many different ways that we could be bound to other people. So, I feel like you have some kind of soul contract with someone. I feel like it could be karmic uh, because you have the devil here, right? But it doesn't have to be. Um, you could just be having something really tough. I feel like these to this toxic devil is your thought. You've been feeling, you've been having this grieving. You've been hanging on unhealthily to something. This is an unhealthy hanging on, either by you or someone else. Um, I, and, you know, the grieving and the feeling of lack, the feeling of loss, the grief, you know, all that. Now that you're th seeing things from a different perspective, you've already gone through the hangman. You now are seeing things differently. You already with the um, unknown card. This is a card very exclusive to this deck, um, the Crystal Vision deck. You are definitely seeing things differently. It might have been about your mindset and your devil energy of wanting to hold on to something that needed to be released. I'm really feeling that strong for you guys. Yeah, I feel with judgment and reverse. And between the judgment and reverse and the... Um, this seven of wands in reverse was coming through to me the same way as if, as if you're ready now to release whatever it was. You're really contemplating a forward movement here with the two of wands, but you're trying to choose your path. Which way am I going to go in all this? I feel like there's you're not going to um, stay on the lines of this toxic thought pattern, this toxic energy that you've been in this clinging, holding on to something that needed to be released. You're going to focus more on a new beginning, which is gorgeous. Ace of Pentacles. Um, Seven of Pentacles, this is something you've been waiting for. You've planted the seeds. You've been waiting to see some growth here. Now, this, I feel, is that toxic thing. You planted the seeds. You've been waiting for growth. You've been waiting and waiting and waiting. You've gotten yourself frustrated. You've gotten yourself stressed out. You're releasing it all. I really feel that you're going to more focus on this new beginning. And, of course, center of the deck so important to focus on. Forward movement. Choosing the path that you're going to go down. So, at this point, you're just starting to release things that need to be released. You're just starting to focus on what path you're going to go down. Alright, let's get you moving here with some... Um, clarification. Please help us clarify this reading. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good. Please help us clarify the cards that we've already laid down for this reading. It's the Virgo reading for November 5th through the 9th, 2019. What do we need to know the most about this reading? Please send through the most important messages for the people that need them the most that will be guided here to watch this reading. Anyone with Virgo placements. Okay, we've got here. Let's look at the unknown card. Why is the unknown card here for the Virgo reading? Why is the unknown card here? here you are in reverse as a man all right the emperor in reverse now if you're a woman you're dealing with this reverse emperor i feel like it's virgo men all right um we have here the hermit in reverse again coming out of a time where you've really been going within same thing as the the hangman in reverse really really shining the light on where you want to go and what you want to do and who's coming along for the ride could have to do with the soulmate energy. I mean, look at the hermit looking into this soulmate relationship, shining the light on it. Is this really my soulmate? Is this really what I'm supposed to be doing? Is this really... Now, this could also be reflecting on the past as well, looking back on the past. I feel as though with the emperor in reverse and the hermit here, for some of you, you're looking back on a situation where somebody was um, out of control. This is an emperor in reverse. For some of you, you're trying to get control of your life. 
you're really trying to shine the light on the past, the present, whoever's in the few, you know, in your life now or whoever was in the past. I'm really trying to get gain control on that. And that's really what your hopes, wishes, and dreams are, to get it together in this area. And yeah, it could have to do with your kids for some of you because this soulmate card is very ch childlike and this could be someone from your way back past when you were younger but this could be you know about your child's father you know so think of it that way there's a lot going on here that all has to do with the unknown card which now there's clarity this was one we didn't know we were shining the light on it because we didn't know this is gaining that clarity so you've gained clarity around Something that was unknown before that has to do with a soulmate or someone from the past, possibly um, your child's father. This could actually be you, Virgo men in reverse, really looking back on a soulmate relationship or looking into a person who's in your life now that you believe is a soulmate. All right, let's look at the King of Cups. Why is the King of Cups here, please, Virgo reading? Why is it here, please, for the Virgo reading? Good. Wow. Okay. There was a lot of confusion here with the Seven of Pentacles. So something's been really confusing. This Seven of Pentacles in this deck is all about, like, that innocence and that illusion being created to confuse somebody. Something's been, and here's the fool. So the fool is literally taking a leap somewhere, going somewhere happily too. So I feel as though your focus here is to get away from that confusion, get away from that illusion that's been created in some way. Um, now, for some of you, it will mean that you want to move away from the King of Cups. For some of you, Virgo men, you're coming through as the King of Cups needing to move away from something that was really confusing. I definitely feel that someone's really looking at things different. They're really needing to get away from anything that kept them in the dark, kept them confused with the unknown card here and now the Seven of Pentacles showing up, this particular Seven of Pentacles. Definitely I feel like someone is moving away from things that were confusing or controlling in any way. All right, let's look at the Five of Pentacles reversed. Why is the Five of Pentacles reversed here, please? We're go reading. Oops, okay, well, we only have one that flipped, and we'll take it. It was, oh, we have three that flipped, but that's okay. Hold on one second, guys. I dropped a card behind me. I gotta grab it. Okay, hopefully I got them all. <laughs> so sorry. All right, these are the three that flipped. And this is you, Virgo men. I mean, you're showing up. King of Pentacles. This was work. For Virgo men especially, this was a work situation. That's why we have all these men showing up. So we have one man here that you're really looking into. He was probably the boss. He's coming out as a bad boss too, emperor in reverse. A lot of confusion around the king of cups as well. Somebody you're moving away from. So I feel as though this emperor reverse and this king of cups are both people that you work with or they could be the same person, I'm not sure, but one of them's got control issues and could be a bad boss. Eight of Pentacles and Magician, and here you are coming out in the upright as the King of Pentacles. So you're coming out of this lack mentality very nicely at that. King of Pentacles is all about stability. Um, this is somebody who is abundant, not lack of abundance like we have over here. So, but you're, as you can see, you're coming out of it. You're going to feel more abundant. I feel like it might have to do with work. I feel like you've, you're manifesting this. I do feel as though this could be you, this confusion and walking away. Um, I feel as though 
there's confusion around something you were working on, whether it was with another man or other people, could have been more than one person, um, or a work situation. It was definitely something you were working on. There was a lot of confusion and you've needed to walk away. But by walking away, you're actually getting out of this lack mentality. It's bringing, it's bringing you back into your, to your upright, full self here of abundance. All right, let's look at the Hierophant. What was this all about? Why is the Hierophant here, please? Virgo. Why is Hierophant here? The Hierophant in reverse and the King of Cups. This was about a breakup in a relationship, especially if you're a Virgo female. I feel like this was a love situation and um, there was a breakup. All right, you may be... We start out here with the Hierophant in reverse with the King of Cups reverse, but we end up with the Hierophant in the upright. I'm just wondering if... Are you walking away from one person to go to another? It's very possible. For Virgo ladies, you could be, and even Virgo men, you could be walking away from one person to go to another. For some of you, this is about a job. You're leaving one job to go to another. All right, now, it's going to be more abundant for you as well um, in the long run. Because over there, you had a boss who was out of control. All right, let's look at the um, Two of Wands. Why is the Two of Wands here, please? Virgo reading. Forward movement. Hangs man again. All that healing you've been doing, all that reflection, all of that looking at things from a different perspective. Hangman twice. Hermit once. I mean, you really have thought long and hard and gotten yourself grounded in this situation. While you were in this situation, in this position of healing, looking at things from a different perspective, getting grounded, you've been contemplating the whole time, where am I going to go? What am I going to do? What direction am I going to move in? And then bam, full speed ahead, the chariot. Beautiful. You're ready. You're ready to take off into this new direction. Um, if you're not ready yet, you're about to be. With the hanged man here, you might need, you know, to finish up a little bit of what you're doing internally to get there, but you're about to spring forward and go on a whole new journey here. Let's look at judgment in reverse. Why is why is the judgment in the reverse here, please, for the Virgo reading for November 5th to the 9th, 2019? Why is judgment in reverse? For anyone with Virgo placements. There we go. The Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Something that's been coming in super duper slow. Okay, so when we have the Knight of Pentacles, it's the slowest moving knight in the deck. When it's in reverse, it's practically at a standstill. I feel as though something came in way too slow and you just said forget it. Forget it. Not interested. Let's look at the devil. Why is this devil here, please, for the Virgo reading? Why is the devil here? Why is the devil here, Virgo reading? The Judgment and Nine of Pentacles reversed. All right, so, wow, look at all the spirits cheering you on for whatever you're doing here. I feel like um, you're realizing there was no abundance in this other situation. No abundance. It was, it felt very toxic. It was just a toxic situation. You were dealing with possibly a really toxic boss here with this emperor reversed or whatever he was. He could have been a husband. He could have been a father figure. He could have been anybody really, but this feels very, doesn't feel loving. So if, if this was a love situation, I'm not feeling any love in it at all. So this could have been something that passed its sell by date a long time ago, honestly. But anyway, I feel as though you've realized there was no abundance in the situation. 
you've been guided spiritually guided i mean this is your spirit guides and angels saying get out of this move away from this it was toxic all right let's keep going here could have been dealing with a capricorn i mean there's so many signs here you really could have been dealing with they're kind of all here you could have been dealing with anybody so you guys know who you were dealing with um all right let's look at the ace of pentacles why is the ace of pentacles here please virgo reading why is the ace of pentacles here look at you if you are a virgo female coming out as the queen of wands you are ready you are ready for your new freaking beginning that's a beautiful combination here queen of wands in the upright with the ace of pentacles you could have aries leo or sagittarius in your chart you don't have to but i feel like something really nice is coming in if you guys this was about a job or a marriage settlement or anything like that i feel like it's going to be pretty nice you're going to you know look eight of pentacles i mean ace of pentacles that's nice really nice yeah, for some of you, this could be, I mean, I haven't had justice come up yet, but I do see I'm getting the vibe of divorce here with the Herefants in reverse, judgment in reverse. There's a few things here that are just making me feel like it's very possible. You have judgment here in the upright. All right, let's go with um, Seven of Pentacles. Why is it here? Virgo reading. Why is Seven of Pentacles here? Yeah, choice. Not, oh, oh, I didn't even see the high priestess here. All right, yeah, some secrets might have come out. I feel like this is some secrets that might have come out with the high priestess reverse. We also have here not moving forward, making a firm decision, hopefully. it's Right now you're in the contemplated stages. This is usually, for me, this is someone who's having a hard time making a decision. I'm not feeling that, though. I'm feeling more like you know that you don't want to move forward. Like you already made the decision. Yeah, you're no longer going to wait. The high priestess here could mean you weren't using your intuition in the past. But it also could mean that something came out um, or that you need to listen. You're not listening? I feel like some of you aren't listening to your intuition. There's something that's trying to come through to you. Some kind of information, I feel. And you're not hearing it. I'm going to get a card on it real quick. Give me um, High Priestess in reverse, please. Why is it here, Virgo reading? Oh, you're healing. Look. Four of Swords. All right. So I feel like this is you really going within. Now, I normally don't feel the High Priestess like this. I want one more on the High Priestess. Give me one more on the High Priestess reverse. High Priestess in reverse. a lot of cards we're gonna put them all back it's way too many for me to read give me one card please on the high priestess in reverse just one there we go the empress in reverse that's you okay so this is representing how you've been feeling you've been feeling drained you've been feeling a lack of abundance you've been feeling all of this emotions this is a lot of emotions I feel like your emotions have been crazy, which is why you're healing. There's something going on here for you guys. You're not going to move forward on something that you put a little, a lot of time and effort on. You're making some kind of a decision right now. But I do feel as though you've got an awesome new beginning coming here, and you are going to move forward with your new beginning. So it might not be something from the past, something that was toxic where there was no abundance anyway. You might not be moving forward with that, but I feel like you are definitely getting your healing done, choosing your path, and you're gonna move forward with this beautiful chariot here to your new beginning. Definitely feeling that. You guys have to let me know about this reading. All right, let's get you some after tarot here and see where we go next. For some of you, if you're a man, you might be having this new beginning with a Queen of Wands. She could be Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or have it somewhere in her chart, but she doesn't have to be any woman that could be coming out in this energy. 
someone who's fiery and passionate and creative and beautiful. All right, spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good? Where does the situation head to next, please? For the Virgo reading for anyone with Virgo placements for November 5th to the 9th, 2019. Please tell us, where does this situation head to next? Wow, there's that hermit again. So now you've had the hanged man twice and the hermit twice. Wow, look at this. Okay, by the time you're done going within and going within and going within, you're going to figure out who's the snake and who's loyal. I feel like you're going to work with another person. Do I feel like this is love? Probably not. It's somebody who's going to help you. I feel like this is help on the way. For some of you, it might be love. I feel if it's love, it's the male Virgos will see this, not the female Virgos. I feel the female Virgos are moving on. All right, if it's love for anyone, I think it will maybe resonate with a few people. But I feel as if someone's definitely coming in to help you get what you want, get what you need, someone who's going to be a great partner of sorts. Peace is coming. I love it. You're going to get your peace. This new beginning, you know, is coming in. I do feel like there's somebody who's helping you out with it. I do feel like you're going to leave behind some things, some people, some situations, whatever it is, and you're going to get your peace back here really nice and you're going to come in from feeling left out in the cold you're no longer going to sit out there in the cold you're coming in to where there's light and there's heat and getting up you're getting up all right guys um oh can't forget the angel card angel advice for virgo please for anyone with virgo placements november 5th to the 9th 2019 what kind of angel advice do we have for virgo See what we got. Humor, openness, flexibility. I think you guys always get flexibility, don't you? Simplicity. Okay, keep it simple. Keep it humorous. Keep it light. Whatever you're going through, keep it light. Just be open. And again, keeping it light, being flexible. This is a lot of really uh, easy energy. Very go with the flow, um, which is, you're a mutable sign, you're a Virgo, uh, go with the flow kind of energy, keeping everything light, okay, that's your advice from your angels, please guys, let me know if this was your reading, exchange energy with me, it helps keep you guys coming into these readings, please like the video if you liked it, it helps the channel, and have a great week, okay, bye.